Hey, hallelujah, everybody. Yes, Shangela, the returning queen who is always returning, is here right now to turn it out. I'm gonna show you what works for me and will also sometimes work for a lot of you. So let's just go with a full-on fabulous transformation. Well, first I did a little primer with my Smashbox primer. I love it so much. It gives me this nice, just smooth feel to go on. As you can see, my hair is all snatched back and all sexy blonde back here. Uh, also, I use these fantastic Dermablend products. I love them so much. For me, a lot of people use liquid foundations. Um, I like a cream, full coverage foundation because, you know, as you can see, I'm not a natural woman and I've got, you know, hair. I have a mustache and goatee. I like to block that out. And this gives me all day full coverage. Honey, I could go all day, 24 hours with this on. I fell in a pool once with this Dermablend on. Got out, was still lovely done. Sometimes the process looks messy, but it comes out lovely. Because, you know, we're going to go back and blend everything out and all that. I just like to do, for stage specifically, because I'm like, I love to paint for the stage. You know, I think I'm the Beyonce of drag. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, so I hit the highlight places first and then I go back with the coverage and then we go back and, you know, set it with the powders and be all fabulous and stuff, yes. Learning from girls, I travel around the world, you know, I've performed now in, on six out of the seven continents in the world, mm -hmm. Antarctica's next. Wow. And, uh, no, <laughs> I gotta get the book in first, girl. Call, call <laughs> the penguins and tell them I want to come down there. But, um, I'm gonna move this a little closer to me. Uh, you know, it, I've learned from watching girls. I've had great people who have given me tips over, over the years. But you know, makeup really is about playing. You can't be afraid of it and figuring out what works for you. Okay. And that's what I kind of learned by trial by error almost. And then I love to watch YouTube videos and different influencers online even to see what beauty products they're using and you know, what might or might not work for me. Well, my drag mother, Alyssa Edwards, is, has always been uh, a mentor to me, both, you know, um, on stage and off. I think that, um, I, you know, some of my great friends that I grew up with in L.A. Uh, have been really awesome um, with me. Uh, other drag mentors, influence, you know, a lot of the girls who came before uh, me, especially on the Dallas scene, um, I've always looked up to those girls, a lot of girls in pageants. You know, I have this great friend named Miss Ashley Iman. She does amazing makeup for the pageant girls and beautiful hair. And I'm always like, oh, teach me how to do this or like I ask her stuff. Um, she's really awesome. You don't find the drag mom. A lot of times the drag mom will find you. She'll see you out there floundering as a little drag baby and be like, come on, baby. Just come on, be mama's daughter. I got a drag daughter named Miss Bambi. Oh. Yes, now I call myself a teen mom because, you know, I'm still very youthful and young. So, you know, uh, I'm a teen mom, but... I love it. Mom. Yes. I'm into it. I, I, a lot of people say, Shinji will be my mom. I say, baby, I'll be your cool auntie, okay? The first one to get you a drink when you're 21 and take you out to the club. That's who I am. Then I take you home to your mama. I first started doing drag in 2009. Wow. Uh, and I was, you know, Beyonce's single lady song had just come on, and I was just compelled mm. to get up there and do single lady. So, honey, I found me a wig. And a nice little uh, bathing suit, because you know Beyonce was doing just the plain black. Remember Sasha Fierce? She was in the black. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did. Maybe I put my little black bathing suit on, went up there and did my Sasha Fierce single ladies number, and the rest is history. Um, I can say my mom was always very supportive when she found out, um, because I've always been an entertainer. I've mm -hmm. always wanted to entertain, and this was another way of me entertaining. Um, but you know, for some people, not only in my family, but also just people in general that didn't know I was doing drag, when they found out, they were like, no, what are you doing? Because they didn't really understand drag. You know, I'm from a very small town um, in the South, and drag was never part of my uh, thing before. Mm -hmm. So when people find it out, or when you tell people, it's almost like another coming out story. You're like, yes, I'm a drag queen, you know? Mm -hmm. But I was so proud of it, and that's what you really have to do. When you're really proud of something in life, and you stand up and stand by it, then other people will be, feel more comfortable as well even being proud of you. And it opened like a lot of opportunities for conversation, like with me and my grandma, especially, because she didn't really understand what drag is. She goes, now, you going to the grocery store with a wig on? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. What's happening here? So I got to, you know, explain to her what the difference is in like 
transgender and transsexual and different gender identities is. Um, that's just not something that she had had that conversation or, you know, anyone ever had that conversation with her for. And it brought an opportunity for me to have that moment with her. And then I think it brought us closer even. Now she has pictures of Shangela in her house, you know, classic black family house. And we got a picture of Jesus, got a picture of Obama, got a picture of MLK, and got Shangela the drag queen. I all that, that together. All together. I am now just going through. I, a lot of girls cover their brows. Mm -hmm. They um, use glue and cover their brows. I don't necessarily do that because um, my brow shape is already kind of like snatched up there. You so I don't have to cover, color. yeah. So I don't really have to cover, I don't really cover my brows, I just kind of paint over them. My brows are like, we all say they're sisters, they're not twins. Mm -hmm. So one goes like this, and one goes like this. Uh, if they both did this, I would be like, yes ma'am, I can do them myself, but mm -mm, not always. This is, I love this. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow. It's like an illuminator. This just gives you that extra pop of shine, you know? Yeah, you could see a difference already. And I go right here just on the And when you do it like this, down. it stays all day. You don't have to touch up or anything. Oh, honey. Like well, you like to touch up yeah. throughout the day. Just, you know, if you get sweaty or shiny or anything. But um, you don't have to go back and redo a lot of it. Once it's there, it's there. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. see the next part. Oh, yes, darling. Okay, so now I think the mug is on. What we want to do is just go in on it. Yeah, and give it a little. I would. I always tell the little drag babies and anybody who wants to um, be in drag, because, you know, drag has lots of different types of performers. There are, you know, drag queens. We have the transgender community that's a big part of the drag world as well. Um, there are... Uh, a lot of gender non-conforming people part of the drag world. There are straight women mm -hmm. that now get up in drag and even have drag pageants um, as well. Yes, honey, yes. That, um, you know, lots of people, everyone, drag is for everyone. So it's just mainly about knowing, figuring out your character in drag and uh, going and enjoying yourself, learning whatever you need to know for your character. Like if she's a makeup queen, if she's a camp queen, if, you know, you like what style of drag you're going to do. And then have fun and go for it. We're all going to make mistakes sometimes about using a particular pronoun. But if you're not doing it from a place of, um, like, disrespect, there's always an opportunity to learn how to address someone or how they choose to be addressed and that kind of thing. So um, I don't think there's, yeah, there's always a wrong way to do something, but as long as you're not doing it maliciously or intentionally, there's also an opportunity to learn from that and not do it again. Because I work so much in drag, that is pra practicing to me. You know, I'm getting in drag at least four nights a week, or in other times I'm just on the plane. Now, I'm not getting in drag on the plane, although I did have to do that once, mm -hmm. and I have traveled in drag What's through that? the airport. <laughs> you know what? Being a drag queen, you learn not to give a F, mm -hmm. okay? I can't say cuss words on here, but can I? No, 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 I'm, I'm professional. But what I'm saying is you learn to um, just hold your head high, and that's exactly what I did, baby. I had a gig. I was doing drag con in L.A., and I was also doing my residency in Las Vegas. I did a six-month res six residency at the Paris Hotel and Casino right next door to J.Lo and Britney, who are at Planet Hollywood. Yes, professional. Wow. Five nights a week is a show called 53X. And um, I was doing drag con and I had to go back to LA and then go back to Vegas for the show that night. No time to get out of drag and get back in drag. So mama, I just stayed up in and pranced my way right through the airport. I said, oh, when I get to TSA, they're gonna go crazy because my ID don't look nothing like this. Yay. And I'm up in here looking like Beyonce today. And uh, they really, look, he got my ID, he said, next. Ah. Uh, I was ready for a story, girl. I was like, I was about to go in. I was about to do a march. I was about to say, sir, I need all my rights. I need to get on. This. Girl, she just let me walk on through. I was like, well, that was uneventful. As you can see, I'm just setting all this right now with this beautiful, I love banana powder for my skin tone. I use this Ben Nye banana powder that I love so much. Of course, it's in a little MAC tub right now, but.
just so you know, I'm doing a highlight thing right now that I usually do for the stage. If I were just going to, you know, pick up some groceries at Trader Joe's, maybe not as much highlight powder, it's so white. But I like you to see certain areas from the stage, so Mama gives that mug, okay? Oh, yeah. Fabulous. That's because you want to highlight certain areas. You may, if you're highlighting, you may want to use, or baking, you want to use uh, maybe a color that's, maybe the Ben Nye, you know, um, banana color to give you a softer highlight. Mm -hmm. But me, I like a strong highlight because I'm like a strong, a strong yes, honey, hallelujah. Cool, very nice. How long does your process typically take you when you're getting ready? Well, it depends on how much time I have. If I'm rushing, you're like, ooh, I gotta hurry and get to the show. I can get it done in like an hour and a half. Um, but generally, a queen likes to have at least two hours to sit, let the makeup bake, and turn out. I won't take all your time like that today. <laughs> but um, I like to have a good amount of time to really, you know, let everything sit and process and be fab. You want to feel like you're getting ready, you know, to go and conquer and be a star mm -hmm. when you're getting in drag. Okay. Well, right now I'm putting, um, this is just a little Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel that I like to do that just keeps the brow, for me, because like I said, I don't cover my brow, um, but I do like it to be, you know, just nice and snatched like this, and this helps me to get the shape on before I put the pencil. I like to use a pencil, mm -hmm. um, and just to go over with the pencil and then maybe do a little shadow to really just pull it back. But I like a strong brow, you know. Okay. You know, when Beyonce has her dark brows on, you know that's when she's about to turn the party on stage. <laughs> there's light brow Beyonce and there's dark brow Beyonce. I love me dark brow Beyonce. So do you so, always use a pencil when you do this? Or? For Shangela, yes. Okay. I like using the pencil. Like for me, I'm, a, I'm on my way to do a show. And I like, from the back row, you need to see that I have some brows on. Right. For me. So um, I like to paint that brow right on so you can see, okay, yeah, she's got a brow, baby. Yes, God, she's got her brow on. Okay. But, you know, you, have, you figure out what you're going, what the look that you're going for, and once you figure that out, you know what's going on. I got a role in this. I'm working with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper is the director. I know these are big things, okay? And I'm a small town diva from a small town called Paris, Texas. What and was I can it say, like with honey, you? everything, yeah. everything. And the role is gonna be super fun. I play like her drag mom in the thing, and like, um, I can't tell you everything about the movie, but I will say she is, like, like I said, you meet people and you hope that they're, like, how you've imagined them in your head. How did you... And she was that. I'm telling y'all this. This is the first time I told this story. It's a good story, too. Okay, the brows are on. They're snatched back. They look awesome. Uh-huh. I like a good brow. Um, so uh, I'm going to put a little highlight. Now I'm going to work on my eyes. So my face is kind of set. I've contoured around the edges. Uh, I put my brows on. I'm baking this makeup on so she can be just when the lights hit. And now I just want to put... Uh, I want to go under that brow, hit that, hit the lid, pull a crease out, put some black liner on, throw my lashes on, lips, and I'm going to be done. And then that'll be it. Wow. That's it. Okay. But you see, there is a process, Not right? Either. In the dressing room, it's me, LG, and some of LG's friends, of course, Richie's there, her choreographer, amazing friend of hers, and Bobby, and uh, one of the other stars of the film. And we're sitting there just having a combo. Kicking it with LG, who's so sweet. Like, you know, she could go hide in her trailer and be like, I'm a star. She was just so down to earth and she was so nice to all the girls on set. And so, you know, I'm taking this opportunity. I'm kicking it with LG. I want to tell her every story I ever had. Mm -hmm. I want to kick it. And I'm just, you know, going, doing Shangela, telling stories and going in. And she's dying laughing. And we're having, and she's going like this. And she goes, Oh, Shan, tell it again. Richie, come listen. Shan's going to tell another story. Shan, tell it, Shan. And so, to LG I'm Shan, which I live, okay? Really? Yes, and so um, at the end of the day, Bradley, uh, B. Coops, Mr. Cooper, and LG asked me, this is a true story, I'm not making none of this up, I'm not trying to flatter myself, and this is a true story. Mm -hmm. They said, Shan, we've had so much fun with you today on set, there's a role tomorrow, we wanna give it, add some things to you, and ask you to come back tomorrow and do it. Now, I was booked in Dallas. I had a show. I said, baby, I have a show. I'm not the girl who cancels. I, you know, I, 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 LG herself said, Shan, I wouldn't ask you to cancel anything that you are doing 
but I feel so, have so much fun with you today. I would love if you would come back tomorrow. Oh, bitch, I had to call Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> I said, baby, I'm going to get y'all a fill-in who's going to be lovely, and I am going with LG. So we got to come, I got to come back the next day, wow. film a scene. It's just me, my friend Willem, B, C, and LG, just the four of us in the scene. It's sickening. Oh, I hope it makes a cut. Okay, these are all my credit. Ha-ha. Credit. So, you take a card like this to get real precise if you want to. Shadows on here, and you just cut it back like this to do your side and your crease. Go in there with that crease. And when you pull it away, I mean, no one has to do this. This is for me for drag, but it just gives me a nice little line. And I'm going to go back with the liquid liner and pull that line, but it, you know, you want your face to snatch back. Give you now, a nice shape. Yes. Now, most girls just going to work at the office, they're not going to use this look. They shouldn't. Necessary, unless you want to, unless you want that to be your gig. But for me, for Shangela, this is what I do. Okay. But anyhow, the film's gonna be great. October 2018 is the current release time. Check it out, of course, it's a remake, it's called A Star Is Born. And I would say to date, that was my favorite experience on camera. Okay. I love to use this MAC Liquid Last Liner mm -hmm. and just to really, because it's a brush on liner, but I'm very precise with it and I like to just snatch things back with it. But before I do that, one thing that I want to add in here, just because it's daytime and gigs, I want to put a little bit extra crease on, uh, as you can see. And the one I'm going to use here in this fabric, you can see I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yes. One, because I love the brand. Two, because they gave us every contestant from Drag Race, a huge, giant kit of it. I mean, I got 95 glosses, girl. I live. Cool. It was everything. Set I, for life, pretty much. Hallelujah. Okay, let's get up in this little crease right here. Just to give it a little extra definition. Little extra. Yeah. Yes. Honey, I'm Shangela. I'm extra. <laughs> So now I'm doing um, this liquid liner. You want to really be precise with it because this brush, you can go everywhere. And you also don't want to like do too much mm -hmm. because it'll spread everywhere. So you want to be just snatched back. So in this moment, I may be a little silent because I got to be super still. But watch this. No problem. Can you see this? I want you to see this. Liquid liner. Now, it can start out messy because you're going to clean it. You're going to go back and be real precise. You know, it's all about building. This is the MAC Liquid Last. MAC Liquid Last Liner. And you see, I use a lot, but you don't yeah. have to go that dramatic, but I do. And I just I like pull it. back. Once this dries, I'm going to add a little black to give it a more dramatic kind of feel on the eyes. I'm going to put some mascara on. I'm going to curl these lashes, put the lashes on, snatch it back, put a lip liner. You know, when mama puts a lip on, that's when it comes to life. Yeah. You ain't got no lips, no lashes, mama. I don't think you're doing drag. Now, you probably are, but in Shanji world, if Shanji's not doing drag, if she don't have lips, lashes, and luminance. I like to do mascara before the lashes because I like to see it curled up and defined. I'll probably add an extra coat after. But when I put them, when I squeeze them together, after putting the glue on, I just like to know where they're going. So yes, I do it before. Some people do it after. Okay. But I find that when you put the mascara on, it curls the lash better. And I even like to curl my own lashes before I put the lash on because I don't always lay it right on the lash line. I may lay it a bit up. Okay. So I want them to already be up and not, and I have like straight, sh sharp lashes. I wish they had a pretty curl naturally, but no. She's got a man-made curl, honey, a man-made curl. Just in case any fall happens, this will catch it, and then I can just brush that off later, and it won't sit in your makeup, and you don't look like, you know, somebody just threw black shadow at you in a right. drive-by blacking. Uh, I'm going to line it with this really cool, um, it's a sorbet pencil and it's in brick. 
back in the call, told you not to call the girls bricks. That means like, you know, hard paint. Just, oh, she's a brick. But um, this is the color I'm putting on, so feel free to call me brick. That's fine. And I overdraw my lips just a little bit. I love my lip shape, but sometimes you want to give the extra. I like to do a light lip. I think a light lip is fun, but mm -hmm. for today, I'll probably stick closer to the color. Okay. Oh, and I love this color. Come on, Brick. This is a good old, you're going to see me from the back row color. Oh, yeah. Because you know when I'm doing stage shows, um, I like to put, um, do the lip and then uh, put glitter on top of it because I like you to be able to see me from the back, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. And shine. I'm a drag queen, honey. I want to sparkle. Of course. Yes, God. I like to give it to the girls. I'm just blending that out a little bit so it's nice and pretty up in there. This has been awesome, and I love all y'all for watching. For real, I'm almost done. Uh, we're getting there. I'm just putting this. I use, now for lashes, people use lash glue, right? Mm -hmm. Not me. No. I use weave bonding glue. Do you really? See, this is Natty's weave, super hair weaving bond, okay? Like, this is a weave on my eye. Now, the reason I do that, and a lot of drag girls do this, we use bonding glue, is because it is stronger, it stays, it doesn't pull out your lashes or anything like that when you're taking it off. It's made for hair, so right. it's fine. But, um, I'm gonna use a small brush. Um, but it keeps it on. And so, like, if you have a wind machine, a fan at you, you know, these are, if a hurricane came, bitch, excuse my language, if a hurricane, you know, I say that in sweetness no and niceness. Problem at but all. Um, if a hurricane came, and, you know, if Katrina rolled back over here, at the end of the day, I may not have a roof on my house, but I'm going to have my lashes on, okay? Because okay? I was on with this Natty's Weave Bonding Glue. I use Natty's. See, you got to dry your lashes. You got to dry them. Oh, my God. Dry the glue. So I have a little fan. It's like a Shangela Hallelujah fan. See? Okay, so that's the color that you're going to You know, some people's eyes, mine included, sometimes water. Mm. You don't want that watery eye, girl. You'd be like, I worked so hard on all this makeup, and now yeah. I'm here to cry to boo boy. Just to cry it out. <laughs> right, just hate, poor girl. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, baby. This was a product they only put out when the Star Trek movie was coming out. And they did like a line of makeup during Star Trek. Yeah. And it's like a gold bronzer. It has like golds and peaches in there. And I love to use it. I get this little piece, this brush right here, and go back over my little. Bring the, ooh, honey. I look so good. They had to call their ambulance, girl, because somebody died, bitch. Somebody <laughs> saw me and died, girl. I had slayed the pageant. What happens when you, when you I just successful. slayed the pageant with this look, girl. Beautiful. Okay. Now, my friend Alan over at Tom Ford Cosmetics actually gave this to me because, you know, I, ain't spend, I don't spend a lot of money on makeup a lot of times unless I really love the product. These products I would spend money on. Yeah. I love the Tom Ford lipsticks because they go on so smooth and they stay on all day. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then, let me tell you the last little kicker. But this, Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, gloss. I put on the last thing. Here we go. And it's a one, two step. Take a brush and just blend it and you're done. Ooh, this is the final stage, ladies and gents. Wow, finish product. Finish. Take that and just blend that edge. You can go back and clean if you want to, but I feel fabulous. As you should. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bye, guys.